during all this time I stayed with my brother and he's a bit of a sloppy mess. So I took charge on the house maintenance. And last night, after they already came in and the entire family sat down and we had dinner together, I went uh, to the washing machine and the dryer was full because I loaded that dryer uh, earlier uh, yesterday morning. So I opened up the dryer, I put my hand in, and then I realized that now Sharon is back. And as I know her, I know my sister-in-law, and I know that she would not approve of me at all touching the laundry because I'm her guest now. I'm not now maintaining the house. Now I'm back to becoming a guest. And I went to the kitchen and I told her that. And she said, yep, that's spot on. So I'm assuming that Sharon misses, I know it doesn't sound like the most feminist thing, but I think that she misses a lot to go back and, you know, reclaim that um, ownership over a house through cooking, through welcoming people, through maintaining things uh, around there. And as of Noam, uh, there was so much food and desserts and all she wanted was avocado toast. Just before Noam left, she, um, there were debates around the family on getting a dog, yes or no. And then my brother went live on uh, Israel's uh, largest news broadcast and told that story and committed on, in front of the entire, um, in all of Israel to uh, get her a dog when she's back. So now that's the plan, that's what she's looking for. But what we didn't know is that while in captivity, she was able to speak to her mother and extend that promise to having two dogs. So we now have somebody actually in the family forum who has who, who has got the portfolio of finding a, a, a nice uh, dog for them to adopt. Um, all, all in all, they seem fine, but you know, it's it's too soon to tell. Um, and I think another thing that's important to remember is that they themselves did not fully um, fed them what has happened on October 7th. They weren't here for all the testimonies and the stories. They lost three family members and they just realized that when they left, uh, when they came back. I mean, Sharon lost her brother whom she went to visit and he was murdered and she had to be told like many of the other hostages who are back were now having to discover that they lost family members and that entire communities were erased and, and burned to the ground. So I think that's a lot to take in. I think that's what the next couple of days will be um, dedicated to. And, um, and, and we're here, we're here for them for that. <laughs>